altcoins as an asset class are actually not doing that great in the last few months. If you simply own a large cap altcoin, a DeFi protocol for example, you're probably underperforming Bitcoin right now. However, there is one asset class that's doing better than everything else and that's the meme coins. And within the meme coins, Ponky is doing especially well. Now in this video, I want to look at the on-chain metrics yet again. We do this with pretty much any altcoin. I want to look at who's buying here, who's selling here, what's driving the current rally and how solid is the rally. Does it still make sense to buy Ponky right now? Now have a look at this chart. This shows the other's dominance. So how much of all of crypto is in the smaller altcoins that are not in the top 10? And this tends to go down since beginning of the year from 13% currently 9%. But when we trade meme coins actively, it doesn't really feel like this. Today, of course, isn't that great. Ponky is outperforming everything else. But in general, if we look at what kind of assets are doing well, this is the performance in the last month. It's Mu, which is a meme coin. It's SPX6900, another meme coin. It's Nero, it's Mock, it's Ape, Popcat. Those are all meme coins. And so here's Ponky's performance today. We're up roughly 20%. We're currently at 51 cents. This month, we are up 43%. And this year, we are up more than 500%. Now, what's driving this? Who's buying here? Why is Ponky appreciating? Now, I've talked about Ponky twice on this channel. The first time was 168 days ago. It was a video that outperformed an average video. So the average video is in gray. The first Ponky video is here in blue. That video was published when the price was still at 36 cents. Another video followed 126 days ago that pretty much performed according to average. That's when the price was at 46 cents. And again, now we are at 51 cents. So that's an interesting effect, right? It seems like the interest in Ponky tends to be declining, at least in those two data points. We have less viewership in the second video, yet the price is appreciating. What's going on here? Let's dive into the data on chain. But before we do this, feel free to subscribe to this channel. I publish videos regularly on various meme coins and I always try to do this as objectively as possible. I don't take any money from any crypto project. I simply just analyze data. Now there is a bit of a caveat with the on-chain data and that's not all of trading now happens on chain. A lot of ownership is now already with the centralized exchanges and we can't look into those black boxes, right? We don't really know what happens within those centralized exchanges. So 40% of trading volume happens on Gate.io, 20% happens on Bybit and only 7% happens on Radium and Radium is a decentralized exchange. The others are centralized exchanges. But still, we have to work with what we've got. And so here are our first data points. On the left side, we've got the number of new first-time traders per day and that peaked on the 12th of October of this year. On the right side we see the number of token transactions per day. Now that peaked one day later on the 13th of October. Now let's have a look at the price chart. We can see a lot of appreciation happening on the 12th. We see this continuing somewhat on the 13th and since then the price went somewhat flat and now it's rallying suddenly again. So the number of first-time traders is going down. There are still first-time traders, but it's not sufficient to push the price up. And it seems like the current rally is not entirely driven just by first-time traders. We don't see that many first-time traders today. However, the data point today isn't yet complete, as in we haven't yet finished 24 hours. So this last bar will grow a bit more. Let's have a look at the trader segmentations. Let's see who is buying here. Is this small retail or is this the whales? Who's trends? Exacting the token most. We've got two charts to answer this. On the left side, we see the daily trading volume measured in US dollars. On the right chart, we see this normalized to 100%. Now we can see clearly how the trading volume on chain went down pretty much since the middle of August of this year. And so that indicates again that some of that trading volume moved to the centralized exchanges. We can see on the right side that initially the larger holders tended to accumulate. So that's in gray and orange. And it seems like small retail tended to sell. That happened up until the middle of April. So that's over here on the chart. And subsequently, the smaller retail investors took over. And that's then what really caused the price appreciation. So we went up from that time to the price top by 500%. Now here's something important to know. As we see more and more small retail investors buying a token, we tend to see a price stabilizing at a higher level because small retail tends to simply just buy and hold for the long term. The whales, they buy up much faster, but they also take profit much quicker. So if it's only whales that own a token, the price can dump much quicker. And so let me show you what I mean when we look at the segregation 
of different holders. When we count the number of wallets that have different holding thresholds. So on the left side, we see the number of small holders. So the number of wallets that have at least 2,000 Ponky tokens. At the current price, that's a bit over $1,000. That's what I consider retail. And we can see how this graph barely goes down at any point in time. Right? The number of retail investors tends to just grow. This is a very normal occurrence. This is what we see pretty much across all altcoins. Now for the chart in the middle, we go at 10x in minimum holding threshold. So that's now 20,000 tokens or $10,000 worth of the token. Here we can see that the accumulation is not necessarily as constant. Right? It seems to have stopped again roughly around the middle of April of this year. Now on the right, we see the whales. The whales, they tend to buy in very, very quickly, but they also tend to take profit. Just have a look at this, right? They tend to go down much more. There's way more volatility in the number of whale wallets. Again, here on the right, we go another 10x. So that's now 200,000 tokens or $100,000 worth of the token. So the wallets on the right are roughly 100 times larger than the wallets on the left at minimum. So when this is going down by roughly 50 wallets or so, that's equal to this on the left going down by 5,000 wallets. That's why we see those massive corrections every now and then. That's the whales taking profit. They in the end really dictate the price action. And so how much growth can we expect, let's say when the whales aren't selling anymore? Let's say they stay at the current level. How quickly is the small retail investor base growing? The answer is it went up in the last three months by roughly 10%. So we went from 10,500 to roughly 11,500. Not that much, right? A growth of three point something percent per month. However, since the centralized exchanges hold a lot of the token, they do have an interest in continuing this rally, right? They're not going to crash the price into infinity. There will be volatility, but definitely they want to support the price to a degree. Now, how long are they likely going to support the price? One answer might be in the market cap. So let's compare Ponky's market cap to other meme coins. We are now at 280 million and a 2x from the current price would bring us some Somewhere in the regions of the gold token. Now gold seems to have already hit its ceiling. I've covered this several times on this channel. We were very early to talk about gold. I also said when I thought the price tops. So again on this channel I'm not just shilling tokens right. I try to be as objective as possible. But again a 2x would bring us already into gold territory. A 4x would bring us already into bread territory. We would even beat bread. So that would be ponky at around two dollars. I don't think it's very realistic to expect that. I don't think that we'll see Ponky at $2 if we don't see an altcoin rally as a whole, right? I'm always talking about relative valuations. I always want to know, can we outperform Bitcoin? Can we outperform other meme coins? Not just about US dollars, because we just have a broadly diversified meme coin portfolio. Of course, things can go up and the market itself is bullish. Now, crypto is all about market timing. It's all about attention. It's about buying tokens that don't yet have that much attention. It's about buying tokens that the smart money is buying, that potentially influence are buying. And so have a look at this. This comes from the premium membership of this channel. We see how influencer Sajad Ali bought Ponky at 7 cents on the 30th of March. We then saw continued buying in June for 35 cents and then some selling for 43 cents. He's got 209,000 subscribers and he tends to make pretty good trades. We've got eight of his wallets in total in premium. We are tracking more than 400 wallets. And so if you're into meme coin trading and you don't just want to randomly pick tokens, but you actually want to follow the people that tended to make the right calls in the past and you want to follow the people that tend to move prices with their influence. And again, feel free to check it out. It's down below thebitcontrade.com. Now it's not just about trading signals. There's also tutorial videos. There's eight videos alone on wallet tracking, on how to find influencer wallets, on how to track them, and on how to then afterwards interpret the signals that we get from the tracking. In total, there's more than a hundred tutorial videos, all exclusive to premium, of course. And then there's the community, right? Where we've got dedicated chats on individual all coins here. We then try to figure out when to buy and when to sell. There's a one week money back guarantee as well. So in case you don't like what you see, just message me within the first week and I will fund you 100%. So to sum it all up, I believe that the growth in Ponky is relatively slow. However, there is some impact by the centralized exchanges. They own a lot and they might still continue the rally somewhat if there isn't too much leverage in the market. If you got some value out of this video, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to also give this video a like. It helps the channel grow. See you in the next video or see you in premium. Cheers.